Hello dear friends, welcome to this gorgeous day here by the ocean. Here we have a bay near Comox and uh, where I'm just walking my dog. And I'm Roland Gunter, homeopath in Royston on Vancouver Island. And today I want to show you something really special, something where I'm always excited about. You know right now, end of November, it's the time where the birds migrate through and they come in big, flo big flocks. We have here you see some of the seagulls sitting on this uh, island or some of the ducks here and the tide is just coming in and when the tide's coming in then the birds that are spread out in the mud flats and looking for food they concentrate and they concentrate then around these what, what, like this sand hill over there that's later on going to be an island and something you probably can't see but you you know it because you all have seen it there's big flocks then of uh, sandpipers most of them are dunlins like 100 500 thousand dunlins here yeah? and they're amazing and you know this morning I just was watching them fly and when they fly together they are just maneuvering like one body. Yeah, there's 500 dunlins and they go on bends and curves and they fly together in harmony and unison. That is absolutely amazing. And they fly really close to each other and they don't run into each other and anything. So I just, you know, for us birds are a symbol of freedom. And then sometimes you think freedom is, I can just do what I want. But what are they doing? Even scientists filmed them and they recorded, played the recording uh, slower to see who is starting the movement. But there was none that started the movement. All the birds, a thousand birds and more, they, they move at the very same time. And you've probably seen that with other birds, like starling or things like that. This amazing coherence in a flock of starlings, how they maneuver. How, how is that? And I was sitting here by the beach and watching them fly back and forth and just marvel, marveling at this, how they can move so together. And you know what came to me, what I really realized? They are listening to a different music. They are listening to the same music and they move according to that. They are connected to some collective coherence, to some guiding energy on a higher level than the individual. And because they listen to that, they move in unison. And it's probably a little bit like when you have an orchestra if we imagine you have a hundred people in an orchestra, in a musical orchestra, and everybody says, I'm free, I do what I want, yeah? It's not gonna be great, probably, yeah? It's gonna be, sound kinda, mm. I don't think that anybody would want to listen to that. So what do they do? They listening to the guy that's leading this, to the, to the conductor, yeah? And they follow that. Imagine when us as humans, with uh, all these conflicts and tensions and stuff, when we would learn to listen to a higher guidance, when we would learn to tune in to the conductor, to what's sacred in life, we probably would need a fraction of all the laws that tell us what to do and the rules. Because these laws are only, they show us that we don't do that because if we would do that yeah if we would have a feeling and a sense and, and listen to what's sacred in life what's sacred in nature then there are certain things which simply would not do there's no way we would violate grandmother earth the way we do because it's unethical and so these birds show us that there is a higher harmony that there's a higher spirit, energy, or however you want to call it, or call it God, yeah? 
and they are tuned into that and whole nature is tuned into that and when we learn to listen to the sacred in us to the sacred voice in us and connect that with what is sacred on the outside then we will manage also to come into a harmony that we can yeah just marvel at when we see it in nature so with that have a good day and I'm really happy that I could take you out here and you see a little bit of this gorgeous land and enjoy nature around you nature teaches us so much thank you for listening have a good day bye